All right, chapter three, review question number four. PC 20, chapter three, review. Awesome, okay. So determine a quadratic function with each set of characteristics. So with this one, the vertex is at zero, zero, okay? And it passes through the point 20, negative 150. So if we're given the vertex, good idea to maybe take a look at, you know, vertex graphing form, right? So that's probably where you want to start. Why? Because we know that this value is zero and this value is zero because the vertex is zero, zero. So that turns into this point or this equation so far, right? So what, what's the one piece that we're missing now? We can't leave this alone. We have to have a number for A. If it's one, if it's negative five, if it's two, it can't be zero, but we need to find out what A is. And the direction or the width of the opening is dependent upon the points that are on the graph. So if we know two points that are on the graph um, and the one point has already been included into this, so the second point is going to be 20 for x, negative 150 for y, and then we just solve for a. And then once we get our a value, that's the last piece that we need to, to form an equation. So, so I'll just do that with you here. So negative 150 equals a times 20 uh, squared, which 20 squared is what, 400? So we have uh, 400A, negative 150 divided by 400. So we then have A is, what, negative? Yeah. So 0.375, so negative 0.375. And so our uh, quadratic function uh, is y equals negative 0.375 x squared. So that's that for that one. And if you had something other than 0, 0, so uh, for instance, uh, one of the other questions here, if you had a vertex at 8, 0, then you would, you would have 8, you would have x minus 8 squared, uh, and then you just leave that x minus 8 in there, put your x in there, and then subtract 8 from it, and then solve for a. So um, minimum value at 12. So that's a vertex, a y value of the vertex at 12, right? Minimum value. Uh, uh, x, oh, let's do c. c looks a little tricky. Let's do c. Because we can know what the y value for the vertex is. All right. So minimum value of 12. So that means that somewhere the vertex is something 12, right? Something 12. Um, oh, minimum value of 12 at x equals negative 4. Oh, negative 4, right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, at, okay, at x equals negative 4, good. And the y-intercept is 60. So that is, uh, there's a point, 0, 60. So again, from vertex graphing form, you've got your vertex, plug that in. So y equals a times x plus 4, because it's minus a negative 4 squared, plus 12. Now I will put in 0 here and 60 here, and I'll solve for my a. Mm. Uh, four, so 16a. What's that? 48 over 16 equals a. What's that? Four, eight over three, four, three, four, eight, four, twelve, three, right? It's three, <laughs> okay. A equals three. So, so then our final answer would be then, so y equals, so we've got three here. We've got x plus four squared and then plus 12. And you could expand that and write it in standard form, but I don't think you need to. So that's what I put. Somebody double check that answer there, but how's that look? Uh, for 4C on the review? 4C equals 3 Right. Yeah, well, A equals 3, but you have to determine the quadratic function. So you're, right? So make sure you write the function there. Don't stop at A equals 3 for this question, technically. Okay? All right. Um, does that help? Yeah? Okay, good. Good. Okay.